there guys welcome to flashback friday we got a really interesting one for you arena rock or corporate rock or is there a difference let's talk about it well hey there guys welcome to rock hard riffs this is the guitar channel for the self-taught that's right, it's Flashback Friday, man. And we're going to talk about corporate rock versus arena rock. Are they the same? same? Are they different? Who's who? What's what? What constitutes corporate versus arena? Is there a difference? And for all of you who are new to our Flashback Friday series, we do this every Friday. We talk about rock and roll. We have songs and videos and stuff, everything put in the description that we talk about. So make sure you check in the description. And also, if you're new, please subscribe. We'd really appreciate that. Or at least check around, and if you like what you see, then subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so much. Now let's talk about arena versus corporate rock. When does this era occur? And I'd say primarily from the mid-70s into about the mid to, to mid-late-ish 80s, kind of with the death of glam rock, or the glam heavy metal scene, if you want to put it that way. Now, corporate or arena. When I think arena rock, I think Van Halen. I think ACDC. I think Eagles. I think maybe Elton John. These are big arena guys. Now some of that you might consider corporate, but consider this. What about Journey and Ario Speedwagon and maybe even Queen or Styx? Uh, how about Boston or Kansas, right? These are all kind of from the same era. I'm primarily sticking more to the 70s, although a lot of these bands went on into the 80s, of course. But which ones fit where and which ones don't fit, really that's up to you. So guys, why don't you tell us, where does ACDC fit? Where does Queen fit? Where does Black Sabbath fit? They sold out arenas. There's no doubt. Were they corporate? Kind of not. Huh? Right? So let's talk about two bands primarily that I consider the most corporate of corporate rock. And I'll tell you, they, they, you know, they had big, gigantic hits, and they were great songs. I'm not saying the songs were not great and well-produced and all that. They just seemed to be, to me, really manufactured. <laughs> okay? Songs that a couple guys sat down and said, let's try to write a hit. Yeah, because the record company is saying we need one. And that's to me kind of kind of the corporate thing. That would be, now you've got bands like Mario Speedwagon, who early on had great hits like Riding the Storm Out, but then later on wrote songs like Keep On Loving You. There you laid in the grass all coiled up and hissing, but I still want to keep on loving you. There's a little something kind of odd going on there. <laughs> I think it's just lyrics for lyrics sake, the way they sound. You know, Def Leppard, you guys in that band said a lot of the lyrics that they wrote were just because they sounded a certain way and they had no particular meaning at all. Def Leppard, how about them? Arena or corporate? Next on my list would be the biggest and the baddest of them all, Journey. Now you take early hits from Journey like Wheel in the Sky and earlier hits like that had some real style to them, a real style, like a real bluesy type of style to them. And then they come out with songs, Open Arms, which to me was definitely a corporate song written for the sake of trying to write a hit. And I was always confused by the lyrics, I want you Tuesday. What's wrong with Wednesday or Saturday for that matter? But actually the lyrics are, I want you to stay. I always thought it was, I want you Tuesday. Always had me scratching my head on that one. Alright guys, so there we have it. Corporate rock or arena rock? I'm really focusing on the 70s stuff, but mention others from the 80s if you wish. Please do. This is the real era. Post-Beatles, post-Shea Stadium kind of thing. That was really the first big arena or stadium that was ever played by a rock band. Then from then on, everybody had to match those. They go on to big, big uh, stadiums. U2 could be another band. U2 corporate or arena you make the decision guys let us know in the comments thank you so much for joining us here on rock hard wrist on our flashback friday make sure you again guys leave us a comment and we'll see you next video